What's up everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So I got about six phones here. And we always hit a gimmick about uh, 120 hertz refresh rate, 90 hertz refresh rates and stuff like that. Well, in this video, we're gonna put it to the test. I have a phone, the Razer 2, has 120 hertz uh, refresh rate. I got the OnePlus 7 uh, Pro, also has a 90 hertz refresh rate. And I got a Quad HD display uh, phone here, which is the LG G8. Uh, then I got some 1080p display phones over here. Uh, I got the Sony X8 uh, 2 Ultra. Uh, I have the Motorola G7. And I have the OnePlus 6T that has a 1080p display. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys some kind of scrolling. Uh, and so we can see if the 120 hertz refresh rate and the 90 hertz refresh rate is better than all these phones. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's put these devices to the test. Again, I got the OnePlus 6T. I got the Motorola G7. I got the Sony X-A2 Ultra. I got the Razer Phone 2. I have the OnePlus 7 Pro, and I have uh, the LG G8. All right, so first thing I wanna show you guys is that I have all devices at full brightness. All right, so we can have an even playing field. We're gonna put them at full brightness. That's what we got going on, full brightness on all displays. All right, so all displays on full brightness. Also, I got the 120 hertz, uh, picked here as the default on the Razer 2 and I got 90 Hertz at default on the OnePlus 7 Pro. All right, so as you can see, all displays. Let's go on and open up a web page on all devices and I'm gonna go with the OnePlus 7 Pro and the Razer Phone 2 so we can see is the 120 Hertz uh, display is better than the 90 Hertz display. So check this out. up it's still trying to catch up so if you can see that it's still trying to catch up and uh, the 90 the 120 hertz display is a whole lot better uh, in my opinion but uh, I mean that that is right there right so that is a Razer 2 and the OnePlus 7 Pro uh, let's go on and bring some other devices in here and uh, let y'all guys see uh, with another quad HD display and I'll uh, let y'all guys see how this looks when you're scrolling, all right? And uh, we gonna go to the full desktop, and all right. So we gonna do 90 hertz display versus quad HD, all right? So let's do this, boom. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, when you're scrolling up and down, yes, you see that the quad HD uh, display is still trying to catch up when you're scrolling up and down, but I'm starting to see it a little bit let uh, on the OnePlus 7 Pro 2. All right, so let's bring in some other devices here. Let's get some 1080p phones here and uh, let y'all guys see 
uh, if it's a difference in the 120 hertz uh, versus uh, the 90 hertz and stuff like that. So let's bring in the Sony phone, 1080p display, huge, just big display here. So let's see, uh, let's go to open up a web page and uh, let y'all guys see. Let's go back to apple.com right quick and we go go to the desktop. Boom. All right, so we're at the desktop. And <laughs> while wow, you're looking at the Razer 2 and the Sony phone, the Sony phone is actually bigger than the Razer 2. But we, we, I mean, that's here or there, right? Uh, let's go ahead on and look at this. And let's scroll 1080p versus uh, the 120 hertz display. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we all seeing the difference there in the 1080p. Now, once again, when we talk about processor speed, we got the 600 series processor in it. So the processor speed is a little different, of course. Uh, so when we look at this, um, now look like it's trying to load up some other stuff here from apple.com. So uh, that's, and that's weird because it's not loading it up on this phone, but it's, it's trying to load up uh, stuff on this phone. So uh, as you can see, that's why we're probably getting some you know differences here because it's trying to load up stuff all right let's see if we can go to the plain website here let's go here let's go to the plain website let's get it off desktop and let's see if we can see a difference uh when we take it off desktop all right so we got it off desktop mode let's see if we can scroll here all right so that's a lot better it's not trying to load up at all it is trying to load up stuff <laughs> Just wondering how the website is different on both devices. One trying to load up all kinds of animations and one is not. Uh, even when you look at um, uh, the, the OnePlus 7 Pro, it's trying to load up. Uh, it, it didn't try to load up all the animation, but yeah, this device said, and I'm using Chrome on both devices. So, you know, it is what it is. But I mean, that's here and there. Let's go with the OnePlus 6T. All right, let's go with the OnePlus 6T real fast and I'll let y'all guys see here and uh, we are desktop mode and let's go back to desktop mode here with this device and let's take a look at this let's scroll with the oneplus 6t uh, with the regular hertz display versus the 120 hertz display let's look at this boom Woo! boy the oneplus 6t looking good and again you saw that it it tried to catch up a little bit yes so even though the oneplus 6t um, it's scrolling a little faster than 120 hertz display as you can see it's, it's it's taking a little longer to refresh as we scroll up and down let's go ahead and do this in slow motion All right, so let's go to and take this out of the mix and let's get the OnePlus 7 Pro in the mix here uh, with the same phone, which is the OnePlus 6T. Let's go to and scroll this one here and let y'all guys see this. Let's go scroll. All right, boom. All right, and again, I mean, yes, it looks a little smoother, but uh, I mean, I don't see, look, from, from when I'm standing right here, I don't see any differences here when it come down to scrolling guys look at that before i end this video let's go down and, and and look at some 4k uh, video on all devices so we can get a jest on how the 1080p displays look as far as the quad hd displays 120 hertz versus 90 hertz so let's put these devices back together and let me open up a 4k video so we can take a look at this all right so i got 4k uh youtube fired up on all devices Let's give a recap on all devices. Let me show you each device real fast. So I'm gonna put a label bomb, boom. 
So there it is, you see each device. I got full brightness up on every device. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the 4K content on the 1080p displays and the Quad HD displays here. And I'm going to turn the background lights off so we can see all devices in action and you be the judge for yourself and I'm going to give you commentary of what I'm seeing on all devices. So let's go. All right, so looking at all these devices, I mean, looking at all these devices, all of them looks really good. Now, when you look at the tree, as you can see, I tell you that I really like the OnePlus 7 Pro here, right? Look at the OnePlus 7 Pro. It, it looks very good at this point. Quad HD, the, uh, the LG G8 also looks good here, all right? Now, uh, let's go and get into the Sony. The Sony also looks good here. All right, look at the blues, look at the whites, look at the sky here, all right? Uh, the OnePlus uh, 6T, OnePlus 6T also looks good here. Look at that, look at that sky. Little, little kind of off a little bit, all right? So in, in this comparison, I want to show you guys that some of the displays do look very good. Now we talking about some mid, you know, uh, two hundred dollar phones here, right? Two hundred dollar phones, and look at the displays here. Without a doubt, you be the judge for yourself for looking at these displays. Nice, pretty, and vibrant. Look at the blues. Look at the OnePlus 6T. Look different, don't it? OnePlus 6T look different. OnePlus 7 Pro look different too. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, look at the Motorola G7. Looks different than that. Look at the Motorola G7 compared to the rest. Oh, look at the LG G8. The, the Motorola G7 is different here, guys. Different color contrast. It's got a lot of difference here going on with the with this device. Okay. Look at that. Now, again, we got a lot of different color shifts going on here. Wow. <laughs> As I can tell you that the phones look good. I mean, get, again, the Moto G7 is a mid $200 phone. So it, it, it looks really good, but it does look different from the rest of the pack. All right, guys. So in this video, I want to kind of show you guys the difference between 120 hertz display, 90 hertz display, quad HD, and some 1080p displays here, right? It did, the purpose of this video is not to, to say that the, 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 the Moto G7 sucks at a display, because it doesn't. It looks very good. It's a mid $200 phone compared to some of the rest of the phones, especially in the mid $500. And I mean, we know that the LG G8, I mean, you could get it relatively cheap, but at retail, it's above 800 bucks uh, so when we, we look at all these phones here I can tell you that you cannot go wrong with either phone it all depends on personal preference but when it comes down to the 120 Hertz display versus a 90 Hertz display versus a regular display I don't see any differences when you're scrolling up and scrolling down I don't see the differences maybe you do in this video this is why I make these videos. I always say, you be the judge for yourself when looking at this content. This is Eric from Music Computer Solutions. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about all these devices in this action. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Boom. All right. See you guys on the next video. Peace. That's beautiful. Oh, these phones look good. <laughs> Later.